What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to see you out there. It's time for video four of our Florida Keys trip vacation. Uh, this one, the winds were howling. We were dealing with 30 plus mile an hour winds, no way to get on the reef, no way to get outside and fish. So we were trying to find a way to have some fun. So we came up with the idea, Alan always wanted to catch a Goliath grouper. So we snuck outside of the canal where we were staying and we caught some mangrove snapper, some grunts, trying to catch grunts and jack crevel so we'd have some live bait. Moved back inside, you'll see we moved back into protected water in the canals, caught some more bait. We went and gave Goliath grouper a shot out of the bridge. Not gonna lie to you, not gonna steer the wrong way, we did not hook a Goliath grouper. But what we did do is we did turn this into a catch and cook. We had all these big jack crevel, little jack crevel, I'm sorry, in a live well, and Corey wanted to do a taste test on them. So we took two jack crevel back to our beach house, before going to dinner, skin them up, season them up, cooked them, and the whole family tried it, and everyone gave their personal opinion. So I got some fun fish footage for you in this video. I got some fun video of us uh, catching a few fish, some underwater footage of a whole bunch of mangrove snapper behind the boat, uh, us catching a few jack crevel. I'll put a little bit of footage of us trying to catch a Goliath group over at Seven Mile Bridge, just east of Marathon. So the main focus of this video is gonna be us taste testing, catch, clean, and cook on a jack crevel. So you guys stay tuned. Enjoy the footage at first, a beautiful place, absolutely gorgeous down there in Marathon, Florida. 30 mile an hour winds on a 22 foot bay boat. We were very, very limited in what we can do. Enjoy the video. I think you'll be surprised what we thought of Jack Cavell at the end. See you out there. It's what's for dinner. Woo. day three of our Key West fishing trip. Uh, yesterday we caught a black grouper and a snapper and a mackerel and so today we're gonna try and go for a goliath grouper. That's what's on Alan's checklist. So we're out here right now catching some bait for it and man y'all it is super windy out here but everybody seems to be dedicated and we're ready to rock and roll.
That's on squid. Uh -oh. Did you now? I did. Oh, Luigi, did you? Is that a big carbon? Is it? Nah. No way. Yeah. yeah. It's probably like the biggest ladyfish ever. Ladyfish. <laughs> as soon as that thing jumped, I was like, no. I wonder if a Goliath would eat half a ladyfish. What you got, Alan? You got a two by four? Yeah. Snapper or Jack? I don't know. Oh, that's another legal snapper. Oh, he's barely hooked. Nice, snapper. Oh, nice mangrove snapper back here. Over there. Lip ripper. Good job, Good job bro. But left, except left. It's worth hanging out for. There you go, Britt. Uh oh. Britt, do it. Britt's on. Like Come on, Britt. That does fight like a snapper. Come on, Britt. Get him. Say something mean. <laughs> Bring him over to the left. Bring him over this way, Britt. Good job. Heck yeah, what we got? A little snapper face. He's fighting like a jack, isn't he? He's got that thump going. Jack Cravale. Jack Cravale. Look at that. We got a grouper bait, though. Oh, 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 oh. I'm wanting it. We're going to get stud. We're going to get grouper. Stud Step to your left. Guys, that's going to be a Goliath grouper bait here in a couple hours. That's going to be big bait, big grouper. Alan's going to take a big beating. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> hey, bait's bait. Thanks, Alan. Oh. Slow to happen. Yeah. It unraveled kind of slowly. It's not much, whatever it is. Oh, Alan, you're gonna love me. Alan, you're gonna love me. Oh, that's a little Jack. It's a Jack Cravat. Perfect size. He is perfect. That's the first bait I put down. All right, let me get another shrimp box. Freaking Ballyhoo, Jack Cravat. There's grunts. There's so much stuff we're out there. We're gonna be unprepared. That's no, fish, no, we're prepared. Helen, we're putting a few mangroves in the box while we're preparing. Come on, Britt. Good job, Britt. What you got? Snapper or Jack? Jack. Swing him over to your left. Now grab him. Another perfect size Ooh. Jack. Oh, look. He got a little one. <laughs> what? He got a little. Oh, he trode one up. <laughs> sure was. All right. Look at that. It's a little, uh, it's, they call them mojeres. Mojeres. Oh, ladyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh, skip hop and jump. <laughs> Come on, get him in here, Britt. <laughs> Lady fish. They will poop all over your boat. Just like that. <laughs> all right, put a couple squids down, then we're going to move to the bridge. We got the chum bags going. I wonder if I go in front of us. Mm-hmm.
turn towards the block. y'all day three uh today was a rough day of fishing it was fun but it was a rough day of fishing the winds were super super strong um but you know we had a good time we caught some fish we caught some some mangrove keeper mangrove snapper and um we did, yep, there we go brad's cutting it up right now and um we also caught some jack we say craval or craval 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 however you want to say it but this is it um and they're not really known for eating, I don't think. But yeah, they died in the live well. We caught them for a Goliath grouper bait. Yeah. And they never got any Goliath bites, so we figured we'd try something with them. Yeah, we decided to maybe do a fun catch and cook. So we have a video of us catching these guys. So we're gonna, Brad's gonna fillet them up, and we're gonna we're gonna cook them up and eat them for dinner. So, yep. All right. Thank y'all for watching. Yeah. See you out there. You ready? Okay. Yep. So I've never, ever, ever tried to eat one of these guys. I have no idea what this meat is looking like. I've used them for bait stuff over the years. Very red, very dark. Right off the bat, it does not look very tasty. It's got kind of a gray color to it. That does not look <laughs> Y'all, we may need to fry these. Double fry them. Double fry. Double du double fry deep dish. It does not look very tasty. Mm. Right off the bat, I don't say it looks pretty horrible. Yeah. But we're gonna try them. Look at all this shrimp. They were back there in our chum slick. We were catching bait. Y'all, I hate to say it, but the mullet fillets look more appetizing than these fillets. Oh. That's big. That's big to say. Look how red that is. Y'all know my feeling on wallet eating wallet. So. Look how red that is. Horrible. Oh my word! That looks horrible. It's like all bloodline. You know, some uh, tuna is a, a pinker meat, so maybe it's more on the tuna flavored. Oh. Looks like it's gonna be on the caca flavor. Just trying to stay positive, y'all. All right, guys, we'll see y'all in the kitchen. We try to cook these guys. Go ahead. All right, we got Corey's little Jack Crevel fillets here. We're gonna cut a little more of this bloodline out. This is gonna be pretty bad, so we're gonna try to minimize the nastiness here. We've got Alan and Pops, both in here ready to get down on this. Both these guys have been fishing forever, so they've never had this either. Alan said he may have had it once, back in our pier at days. Way back in the day on the old wooden Pensacola pier we may have eaten it. So all that means is it won't kill you. It won't kill you, it doesn't mean it's good. Sheree and, and Brittany went missing. <laughs> Conveniently. <laughs> we'll go hit these guys with a little bit of olive oil. Jim, I'm gonna look more olive oil. <laughs> Need more oil on it? All right, a little bone in there. The meat doesn't look that bad now. Now that we've cut the red, the bloodline out, I mean, it doesn't look god awful. It looks like amberjack, to be honest with you. Jack. It, yeah. It's a jack. It's a it's, it's, you know, we've got tortillas. We could always put a little pico and some cheese and, you know, doctor it up the best. Doctor it up. Can we doctor it up just a little bit? Ton to minimize of cheese. the effect. All right, let me get some salt and pepper. A little salt. Yeah. A little bit of that Jamaican sauce. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe we'll hit it with that. A little salt. Put a lot of that on there. Yeah, a lot of the Jamaican sauce? Yeah, let's get authentic. I mean, we're eating it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, salt and pepper. Some avocado. All right, we'll, some pasta, some cream sauce. There's fish in here? And then throw all the fish away. I can't even, <laughs> taste, can't even taste fish. All right, here we go. Once Miss Dom dish soap. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready? Ready. Come on, this away. Here we go. Jack Cabell. Catch and cook. Going down. No, Danny, there's no way to get out of this. If I snort some wasabi. Nah, I'm gonna eat. I mean, the jackerel. Alan may have found the way. I've been in the sun too long. I got some boys. You can bring whatever you want. Watch the pot mirror boil there, Corey. I'll still find a way to mask it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking tortillas and cheese. You got some shredded cheese in there? <laughs> Chop up some avocados. Ooh, ooh. Not a bad idea there, Cordina. Yum. There are some crunch up Doritos. Avocado sandwich. Mm -hmm. You're not getting that to go into dinner by making a sandwich. Huh? You're not getting that to go into dinner by making a sandwich. Man, I'm, I'm trying to make this the best experience you've ever had. All right, first flip. That bloodline looks fantastic. The meat doesn't look bad though. Oh. I'm getting there. Y'all want a medium rare like tuna? <laughs> no. <laughs> take mine all the way. <laughs> take mine all the way. Take mine extra fresh as you can. That Pops, what's your expectations? What do you think? I don't think it's going to taste like amberjack. No. I don't think it's going to taste like king mackerel. It tastes like There's another word I'm thinking of. <laughs> it tastes like elk. Can you help me? <laughs> yeah, chicken. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like chicken. Yeah. It tastes like chicken. Hey, what do you think it's going to taste like? It's not mullet, so. So no brain worms? No brain worms. Oh, God. And we still got to do a Florida mullet while we're here. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. You passed that one test. My expectations are not real high. Could be. What happened when we ate Benita for the first time? Remember we did Benita. We heard Benita was crap. Benita was Benita was spot on. Benita was right. We got barracuda and barracuda is fine. Yeah. I mean everything you're not supposed to eat, we keep eating. Smoke the yellow tuna and dip out of the Benita. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was awesome. That turned out really well. Yeah, well, that's the sushi we had. Uh, the sushi. Cut up the other day, but that was delicious. Corey's going first. I'm not. I'm not thinking it's too bad. It might not be, Brad. All right, baby, tell me that. Are we ready? The wig. <laughs> Where are? Here, let me. Did you say ketchup? Hmm? I got it. No. All right, here we go. Taste test, Jack Raval. Who's up first? Core, Dad, Alan, yeah. Britt. Oh, we're refined, we're using forks? No. Oh, we're classy. Right, Britt, Britt. No, I don't want to put this down. Might All right, Alan's got a big old freaking bite. He's coming in full man, fours. Alan, yeah. It's going to be hot, Alan. Don't Jack Ravel. Not everybody from Texas. Oh, smoke coming off of the tub. There would, there would have my subscribers. <laughs> Eat it up. You ready? Try it again. Jack Crabelle. Salt and pepper, olive oil. What's it need? Is it good? <laughs> do it. Do what is the little piece doing? It's not tough. Not tough. Is it fishy? Like it's not. No it's not flavor. fishy. It's not no aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not bad, but it's just no, no. Yeah, no taste. No. 
It's so, not bad, but no. That they just say there's no taste. Oh. It's definitely not fishy. It's flaky. I got some remedy if you need it. Let's try to do something to it, make it a little better there. Not that you taste it. No, I like that. You like it? Yeah. No, I like that. Mm -hmm. You like Jack Mm-hmm. Here, you can move over. What? The line yeah. I like <laughs> that. What? I'm with you. Yeah. You don't have a photo. That's good. Break it up a little bit. Break, I'm going to try. Come here, Britt. Get your big piece. No, All right, no, no, here we no, go. I like that. I All right, it. let's try it. That's really good. That's pretty handy. That's edible. It's not bad. bad. It's not bad. I'm with Alan. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. There's no fishy taste, no half taste. We didn't have any taste. I, no. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't keep a box full of them. No. no. It's going to taste like whatever you season it with. Yeah. I would keep a box full of them. I like them. You would keep a box full of them. Well, we know where to go tomorrow. <laughs> we, we called a pile of them. We, we got easy. You know, for a fish that doesn't taste good, we're eating the crap all, out of that. We're all probably going to be good. Really good. Down. Brit? Yeah. I like it. More. It's white, fresh, very light. Yep. I like it. Not gamey, not fishy. I haven't it's tasted really a fish like this before. Take a bite with the avocado. Take a bite with the avocado. Yeah, the avocado will kind of give it some flavor. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's good. That's very good. Like I wouldn't say, oh yeah, you know that's edible. That's good. I, that's a good fish. That's a good fresh yeah, fresh 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 yeah. fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd be crazy with it now. Mm -hmm. I like that better than trout and redfish. I will say one thing. This is y'all are smoking that plate down for a fish that you don't like. Yeah, but we're we're, we're, we're <laughs> trying with some wasabi. wasabi. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna yeah, experiment for a you fish y'all don't like. Y'all are wearing it out. It's definitely a fish that's gonna soak up flavor. So like. I love wasabi. Yeah. yeah you Smoke would be good. That works. That works. That works. That works. That what works. did you do? This wasabi. Oh my god, that is great with wasabi. Oh. It's almost. He stomped away. Sit around, scarf around some jack and roll. Pretty good. Well, we'll now, go around the room. That was also. That was a little one. Sheree, you want in on this? Yeah, Sheree. <coughs> Here's Sheree. She's got a shower. Oh. You want to try a piece of jack and roll? Okay. And give your honest opinion. By itself, first. But you can't put any of our avocado on it. We've already drank a little bit. She's probably like, this tastes like poo poo. It's good. It's good. I'm going to eat it. All right. Wow. You have the you get over there with her. Okay. All right. So let's go around the room. Jack or Bell, edible? I love it. We're going to keep them. Yep. Jack or Bell? Got to go with it. Jack or Bell? There you have it, guys. Jack or Bell. It's good eating. It was a small one. I don't know the big ones are different, but right now, I think if you catch a Jack Carvel that size, you keep it and eat it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you out there. All right, guys, there you have it. Catch and cook Jack Carvel from Marathon, Florida. Corey's back here decorating for how for Christmas. He's been decorating since September. No. Anywho, guys. No. <laughs> I hope you guys liked that video. We were all surprised. We all grew up fishing the Gulf Coast. Florida chartering and we've eaten everything out there and never once have I eaten a Jack Cabell my entire life I'm absolutely blown away how good it was I thought Corey was just being overly optimistic no. turns out that's not the case that fish was good there was nothing wrong with Jack Cabell at all it tasted good there was no fishy taste there was nothing off-putting it was a good eating fish it's one of my top three definitely one of my top three Jack Cravel. Mm -hmm. It was good. Jack Cravel is in Corey's top three. Now keep in mind, she's eating mutton snapper, black grouper, redfish, flounder, sheep's head, black drum. She's had it all, and Jack Cravel made it into her top three. Good. That's insane. Anyway, hope you guys like the video. Uh, this is episode four. Now keep in mind that we do have the December 5th giveaway for 500 subscribers. We'll probably add that to our next video. We have quite a few more videos to put out from our QS trip or our marathon trip. So anyway, thank you guys. We appreciate it. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys out there. Thank you.